Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. Today we're going to run some benchmark scores on another HTC Sense ROM for the T-Mobile HD2. Uh, this is a slightly modified ROM. I'm going to do a walkthrough on it in the next few days. I'm kind of liking the ROM. Battery life hasn't been that great. But it does quick come with an overclock kernel, so I have been running it at 1536, which would be roughly 1.5. So just for this, we're going to turn it all the way up. And I want full speed. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that yet. Kill everything. It's going to give you some quick benchmarks. I'm going to do a uh, Limpack, Quadrant, Neocore, Nina Mark, Smart Bench, and FPS 2D. I'm going to do the uh, CPU benchmarks first because people are usually more interested in those, and I'll do the GPUs at the end. So that way you can just skip out of this video if you're not interested. So let's clear everything out. And first we'll run Limpack because it's pretty quick. We'll run a couple Limpack scores. I've used this ROM for a few days, but I haven't done any scores yet, so 37882, 37695, 3835, pretty nice actually. Alright, now we will run Quadrant, seems to be everyone's favorite. The only thing I've noticed so far with this ROM that I've had a little bit of trouble with is some stuff that I restored using titanium. I've had that problem with a few ROMs on this phone lately. I don't know why. I may honestly need to Task 29 this phone. If you don't know what it is, actually I'll make a video about it when I do it. It cl kind of clears out the memory from all the, uh, the internal memory from all the ROMs that you've flashed onto it. Because if you're like me, I've flashed countless ROMs onto this phone. This is my secondary just phone for hacking. <laughs> I love this phone. It's a great piece of hardware. Can't wait till they come out with something more updated but like it so I can upgrade phones myself. My G2 will become my hack phone. <laughs> okay. 1434. It's not bad at all. I mean, it's pretty good score. I think I've seen 16 on this phone, I want to say, but I'm not sure. So we'll go with that. Now we're on SmartBench 2011. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, I've been doing Smart Bench 2010. If the score seems really low in this one, it's not the ROM or the overclock kernel's fault. It's that they changed their baseline for scores from 2010 to 2011, which I'm not exactly happy about because, it, I mean, I'd hate to have to go back to all my old videos and do 2011 on it, to be fair. So just from this point on, I'm going to use 2011. That's why I guess Quadrant seems to be the standard they seem to have a standard set of you know guidelines they go by and they've stuck with those where smart bench hasn't but smart bench is a little newer so we'll give it some leeway I guess <laughs> uh, all in all this ROM's been pretty nice I'm not huge on HTC Sense because I like vanilla Android but for an HTC Sense ROM it's really colorful as you probably noticed there's some nice animation transitions so all in all, it's a nice ROM. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing a review on it in the next few days. And then on to another ROM. But I just wanted to get some benchmarks out here. Because people love benchmark videos. <laughs> As you can see, the GPU on this older hardware is not that great. Can't wait to get my hands on Integra 2. And as you can see, they look really low, but they're not considering. I mean, as you can see, some of the other things. Games, of course, is better on the Epic 4G and things like that, but not bad. Like I said, it's kind of hard to say because they changed their guidelines on how things are scored now. So take that however you will. Clear everything out. And now I'm going to run FPS 2D, of course pretty standard. It should come out around 58. I don't expect any more or any less out of it. That seems to be the standard. Fifty-six, that's actually kinda low. Surprised about that. Could just be a bad run though. Uh, now we're on Nina Mark. It's also a graphic GPU. 
um, benchmark program. Point two, not the best I've seen from this phone, I must admit, but could be because this is a kind of heavy ROM uh, Neo Core. Battery life is really the only thing that's suffered on this phone. I still got a day about about a day out of it, excuse me, but it's not that great. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still kind of stuck on that uh, gingerbread ROM that I reviewed a while back. That was just a wonderful ROM and eventually will be what I go back to on this phone. I just wanted to try some different ROMs and get some reviews out here. Encourage people to try different ROMs on this phone because there are some really great ROMs out for it. Whether you like Sense or Standard, Android. Um, I haven't seen a TouchWiz actually ROM for it, but I have seen plain ROMs that you can run TouchWiz launchers over. And I tried that for a while because my wife likes TouchWiz and she was using this as a backup. Uh, 31.2. Not bad, not the greatest, definitely. But there you go. Just wanted to get some benchmarks out here for everybody. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Watch for the upcoming review of this ROM on my site. And uh, have a good one.